These men lost their family members to the United States' forgotten war in Afghanistan, and civilian deaths are rising again, 18 years after the conflict began. The United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. Tonight, we take comfort in knowing that the tide of war is receding. We are not nation building again. We are killing terrorists. The U.S.-led war in Afghanistan began in 2001. Since it started, almost 40,000 Afghan civilians have died. Bashir Mohammed lost two cousins in a recent Afghan government night raid. Bashir is from Nangahar province, near the capital, Kabul. The province is contested territory between the government, the Taliban, and ISIS. The U.S. has had a heavy military presence in Nangahar. In 2017, it was reportedly the deadliest place for U.S. troops. People like Haji Muntaz find themselves caught between violence from all involved. Haji lost relatives in multiple attacks. He doesn't always know who to blame. Anti-government groups like the Taliban are responsible for the majority of civilian casualties, which include both injuries and deaths. A UN report found between the first and second quarter of this year, there was a 27% increase in civilian deaths. And 52% of total deaths in 2019 were attributed to US-backed government forces. So while the total number of civilian casualties is down from 2018, the violence is actually getting deadlier. And Bashir says there's no accountability. The UN says an increase in aerial strikes and search operations could be responsible. In 2018, the U.S. military conducted more airstrikes in Afghanistan than in the three previous years combined. Now, America's longest war is one of the few foreign policy issues getting any attention in the 2020 presidential campaign. And the conversation is largely about U.S. troops, not civilian casualties. We have to bring our troops home from Afghanistan. The reality of it is, if the United States isn't engaged, the Taliban will grow. I thought I was one of the last troops leaving Afghanistan when I thought I was turning out the lights years ago. Trump says he wants to get more troops out of Afghanistan by November 2020. To do this, he's hinted at more drastic measures. I don't want to kill 10 million people. I have plans on Afghanistan that if I wanted to win that war, Afghanistan would be wiped off the face of the earth. It would be gone. It would be over in literally in 10 days. With America and other coalition forces eager to end the war, there's hope for a political solution to the conflict. But despite the UN's calls to, quote, reduce civilian casualties to zero, civilians face a deadly reality.